on three, two, one. Oh, is this gold? Is this freaking gold? Wouldn't that be amazing if that was a diamond? Oh, man. If this is a diamond again, like if that's a real diamond, I'm rich. If Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pirates of all ages, what is up? We are here about to go through another unit. My good buddy right there, Pickers Warehouse, you see him, he's taking off now. He just came and filmed a video for me. He's gonna edit it, and it's gonna probably be a doozy. If you haven't watched it, you're gonna have to check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to his channel because he's really helped me out a lot, and I appreciate that. I try to help those who help me. We've been finding all sorts of amazing stuff in the video we just filmed. We got silver, we got non-silver. The ephemera is going out the roof. All sorts of letters from the 1900s. We got stuff like these toy guns right here. I thought these were pretty neat. He comped this one at like 100. I'm unsure of the realistic value on that. We found these metal pins, silver belt buckles. This is all stuff we found in the previous video, but I figured I'd show you because I'm wrapping it up. And then we're going to start going through some more stuff right here. I don't know which one to go through first. There's so much stuff right here. This one I've been waiting to see in because that looks like potential is silver. I always like doing that. I got some stuff over here I've been wanting to go through. That one cabinet back there, I got to go through this video because it's been hard for me to sleep at night. When I used to buy storage units, I would just rip through them. I'm talking rip through them like nobody's business. But as time goes in these videos, I like to be able to go through a unit real time with y'all. I like to be able to open the box real time with y'all. I don't want to be like, oh, let's act surprised that I open this up. But I want you guys to understand how I feel when I do it. So you can have that same uh, energy when you do it. So it's been real hard for me to sleep at night trying to do these videos on time and not cheat and go through them. Anyway, let's get started and let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna go through these things. If you remember, I remember, I think I set some of this stuff in here because this is actually a box we might even throw in all the loose stuff in. Benji was very intrigued by these. I don't see this as being like Fenton glass or anything particular, but it is still nice, the rose colored. And Benji really liked this piece, but I noted afterwards that it was cracked somewhere. See right there? That's a shame because this is really kind of valuable cut red crystal. Then we had some boots, right? Gloves, no. That's junk. These books right here, though. These, I think, need to end up on the auction on YouTube. Short stories. Here's a short story. There once was a pirate. His name was Mike. Wow. That's funny because what's my name? D. Haas. And then it says Haas. Coincidence of that is probably slim to none. The Wreck. All right. Let's look at a more positive book. Is there a positive book in here? Because I don't want to discuss wrecks. Olive Shriner, the hunter. That's me, the hunter, the treasure hunter. This is a cool little book collection. I'm going to put this on the YouTube auctions, on Pirate Auctions, so don't forget to check that out. Then we have this neat little container here. What are these? A lot of people are telling me there was like walnut picking tool. I don't know if that's a walnut picking tool, but this right here to me looks like sewing equipment. So this is probably something as well I'll put on my YouTube auctions. Then we got this jar. This jar right here, I believe, is going to be some silver in there. I think we saw this already. And we had some boots here. Why am I putting those in the next box, Michael? Boots probably have very little value. They don't seem special. We got some marbles. Glass marbles made in Japan, Beverly Hills, California. 10 cents. That's really inexpensive for marbles. Some building blocks, nasty Rafferty. We got some slides. Mm, set that in our Affirma box. And then let's go through this. <laughs> it says it right there, doesn't it, Michael? Sterling. One piece of sterling. Two pieces of sterling. Three pieces of sterling. Dirty sterling, though. Very dirty, but that is sterling, so we'll set that over there. That is sterling. That will end up, it looks so just corroded and gross. Chanilly. Interesting. Chanilly. Chanilly. I was just looking because I thought maybe one of these said Chanilly on it. Another Sterling. All right, I love Sterling. 
Ugh, I don't want to even go in there. Sterling. Gosh, the sterling this family had. Let's see here. What do we have? We got... Ooh, dominoes. Those are not exciting. What do we have in there? Let's see. This looks like... Um, is that a brush or is that... Could be a brush. It's not a cribbage board. This is a pick. That's kind of nice. This is a lighter. <clears throat> a little weird stain because it has a... I think you're getting a large glass and the bottom's hollow. That what? would piss me. You think you're getting a large glass of booze? Well, that's... What am I looking for? Are you teaching us something? Yeah, I got taught something once, but this ain't one. There's one Stein company that's really expensive. When you turn it upside down, there's like not a hologram, but there's an image. Oh. The light comes through an image in the bottom. So it'd be see-through. It's, it's translucent. Okay. So that's a good find there. We'll put this over here into our silver pile with the rest of our silver. Ta-da! This is where we'll make our YouTube auction. So we'll put this in our YouTube auction box. All this stuff will make it there. I need to take a break from doing boxes for a minute. And I need to do this cabinet back here because it's been driving me nuts. I want to find some good stuff. And this is the one that had, if you remember, it had that right there. The Norman Shaw. Now that the camera's on, because I just did that whole little counting thing and moving the chair. Well, I thought it was being a sneak. I was like, we're gonna count like this. And I said, three, two, one. And I said, stop, we're gonna move the chair first. None of that played through, but now we're gonna do it on three, two, one. You guys have seen this already right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is the thing that intrigues me because it's not often you find stuff where people are in the house of representatives or whatever the case may be. But that was the first thing that intrigued me in this. And you just never know. These people are weird pack rat hoarder types and they just you don't know what's in their drawers look at these glasses here these are intriguing look like they're made of plastic forks oh, i'm scared to put them on but those are neat let's put that in our good pile here can we get this open mm, photo postcard Paperwork, buttons, paperwork, the Pacific Ocean. That's funny. See, the universe was telling me. I've been talking to a little woman about going somewhere, and we were discussing maybe Hawaii or Zacharat, and she has a cancer. And I opened this thing up, and it's telling me maybe this is where I should go. So. Good possibility. Ooh, is this gold? What is that? It looks like a case to a watch or something. Looks to be gold. Nail file. Potential sterling silver. Yes, it is. Gross, but it's a sterling silver hair clip. Vallejo Valley Photo Service. Okay, they went somewhere in colored photos. That is disgusting. Costume jewelry. A peso. So it's also saying go to Mexico and go to Hawaii. Incredible protective systems. It's hard to just keep going every time you open the drawer my peripheral vision kind of like just tours me to go from the next spot i was going to go to but it's kind of part of the business costume jewelry 
costume jewelry. No, that's a that's like the eyewear there, some mace and stuff. Got a clock key, so that could be intriguing. And then we come over here. Got a clip. Not so special. This looks like it's sterling. It's some type of little tea potty duty duty bag. Hoo hoo hoo. And that is a sterling silver pen right there. Could have gold as well. That is nice. Sterling silver pen. Buttons. True craft. Look at that. That's nice. I'm trying to make sure I don't overlook nothing. Ooh. Hi, pirate. How are you? That was dentures, Steve. Costume joy. That was dentures. Yeah, I found dentures. A protractor. Oh, I saw something there. EDCR Germany. Neat little things. What is this? Is this freaking gold? Damn, this looks like like solid gold. Wouldn't that be amazing if that was a diamond? Steve, are you a diamond expert? This I looks like a the first thermal diamond testing machine. That is that is real gold right there. You invented one? In my head. Oh. If diamonds are a different temperature than the air, you ought to be able to figure out what the temperature should be. Well, what do you think about this one? Because I'm like getting more and more juice. That is a big, big diamond. It looks like there's somebody used some real gold and like kind of hand that hand oh, crafted. Nice these are good money, these little keys like this. Well, you don't clamp a piece of glass in like that. If it is real, look how deep it is. It's a mine cut. If that's, if that's real, that's like a several thousand dollar diamond. 10, 20. You got a loop? Um, I'm a, I am a loop. I don't know what that is. Look at all these weird little coins. Right, don't lick that dog. Boy. You don't want to be licking that stuff. Reggie beat it. What's he licking? The cabinet thing. He's licking the uh, towel. I would suggest it because it probably has like rat turds on or something. Illuminati, hundredth no, year, nineteen seventy-eight. It's the same thing, isn't it? No. Well, yeah, but that looks like a silver Canadian dime. Peso. Ooh, look at this one. We found an actual coin collection here, ladies and gentlemen. This is getting intriguing by the minute. This looks like a piece of metal. Like, I don't want to waste my time picking up every single little penny in here and stuff, but there could be that 1943 rare penny. Oh, here we go. You wanted a loop? I found you a loop. <laughs> it's disgusting. Though. If you're immune to rat turds, I wouldn't touch anything, Steve. Ooh, look at that. That's a good... Well, I'm look at that. It's like a firework. See that? Interrupted. And there's definitely something in there. How do we get that act there? Let's see if I can do this. It could be a rat living back there. No. Paperwork. Steve's not scared. Steve. Steve could do it, I could do it. Let's see that, top that is a very old piece of paper and story there. It's been hard taking my time to go through this unit, Stephen. There was a diamond in that box yesterday before that guy was there. Yeah, that's why I try to wait and go through stuff 
ladies auxiliary to to California Pioneers roster. Here we have a Stockton High Tarzans Junior League of San Joaquin. There's a, so they're all over the map on the stuff that they did. Like it's just weird. Come on, we need something good. We need to make our money. Money, money, money. Ribbon, letters, stamps. Stamps are sometimes neat. Stamps. Postcards, those gotta get gone through. A marble. Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo hoo! Look at that. Look at that. Come on, please be gold. Please be gold. As a matter of fact, it's not the same thing, sadly, but similar. This right here is an Elgin Railroad pocket watch, and it is looking like gold. I don't know how to get it open. Let's see. And there's even something more exciting I could see. I just haven't got only. I can't go back to it because I got to see this first. It says gold filled 20 years. Still exciting. It's not as exciting as I want it to be. Elgin Pocket Watch Railroad. That is a small one, but look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have more gold. Mmm, man. I don't, is this is a diamond again. Like, if that's a real diamond, I'm rich. If it's not a real diamond, I'm just got a nice little gold. It says 10 carat. Those are little diamond chips. English to French, 12,000 words. Look at this little... Look at this little book, Steve. You ever seen a book that big? I saw one here the other day. Mm, that's kind of cute. That's awful scratched up, but... That is sterling right there, so that's neat. I love finding sterling. That's probably this. Oh, look at that. It could be. Maybe. Come on, more gold, more silver, more gems. What is this? got children as we had to show children. And maybe why they never got the other. Shaw to Shaw. Obviously he treasures that. Okay. So we got two drawers down. Now we need to go with the next drawer. Right here. Three, two, one. That doesn't look exciting. Use bandage. It's just that there's no rhyme or reason in what the hell these guys were doing. Like every drawer, every box, every nook and cranny is different. Faye Sherry Festival. Future Farmers of America. Mm -hmm. A little key. Another little key. These are keys. I sell these keys on lots on my... Here, Steve, you want, you want a projectile dispenser? Here's a projectile. Oh, oh my. I'm so tired of sticking my hand back here. The original constitution. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And the last and final drawer has 
Look at this yo-yo. Ooh! Another, we keep finding all sorts of these little hickory sterling silver belt buckles. These are freaking nice. This one has an S. S stands for Steve. This is priceless. Do you want to buy it? I only want a thousand because it's priceless. Sure. Put it on my tab. And nothing. All right. That's not a bad find in a, in a weird little box because this right here, let me see where it goes. I got this one. This one and this one. These are three extra credit stencil. That's not a word, is it? It's extra special. This right here, I want to get looked at. If any of these are real, but they don't look... And the first thing you think of when you see a diamond is you look for inclusions. But a real good diamond wouldn't have very many inclusions, would it? It's the scratches that bother me. It seems very soft. Okay, but the gold is gold. So I'm going to have this looked at. We'll get an update on that. I mentioned we got a bunch of other great stuff. So a lot of this little trinket stuff will end up in the YouTube auction on Pirate Auctions. All right, it'll definitely be easier to sleep. Oh, look at there's your... Uh, Steven. Cool. I knew it smelled like poop around here somewhere. Excellent. I have not been able to sleep for days trying to wait to go through some of these pieces. That cabinet was on my mind because it was full, but I won't go through it. That made it very entertaining. That made it very lucrative i think i think there's a little bit of money in those few pieces there so we'll tell soon so much more to go through in this unit we got the stuff we already gone through the stuff set inside for the ephemera we got boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff to go through here still we will get through this at a later date i promise that for now don't forget to the like button the share button subscribe say something pretty like pirate this unit is very entertaining and i want to see more and i'll talk to y'all later ha So, ladies and gentlemen, I had to show you the knife real quick because Steve fished this out of a box he was looking at. We haven't got to film yet. But we're making our first sale out of this unit, which is 25 and 100. So, we already got 125 back. Plus, he's buying a few other things. That's not bad. That's a wrap to this video. So, don't forget to hit the like button, the share button, subscribe, and say something pretty. Ha! No, it's only enough for like one person. Aww. Thank you. you guys know I like unicorns, but so does little baby. I'm not recording nothing.